Hey, this is Ken for the Information Nation. We're bringing you more stuff. That's right, we're bringing you more stuff. Today we're going to make a little juice. Got a uh, recipe that I've been uh, thinking about. It's called Cherry Amaretto with a Green Apple Twist. But before we get into that, I want to show you something. I want to show you how I'm tracking my juices, how how I can, uh, instead of using 3x5 cards, which I told you before, and... um, the other thing is that if you're like me, every now and then you make some stuff, it is great. And guess what? You forgot to write everything down. So anyhow, <clears throat> I put together a spreadsheet on Excel. And, um, well, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. You can see over here, it's an Excel spreadsheet. And I've got it down to, here's my flavor concentrate right here, which is the mix. And here it is, cherry amaretto with a green apple twist. The date I make it, the flavor in mLs and milliliters, the four point one, uh, the four is the cherry, the one point five milliliter is the amaretta, and the green apple is a point five. And <clears throat> we're going to do eighty percent VG, twenty percent PG, eighteen milligram nicotine. It's going into a one ounce bottle. And I have not added any sweetener. You can see here I did one with five drops, another one with I put a mill in there. And we're, we're going to start with none. If at some point I start adding sweetener, I'll come in here and update this. The 0.5 ml is Capella Green Apple. And the reason it's only 0.5 milliliter, let me uh, give you an idea here. According to the bottle, it says that add one drop Per ounce of your favorite of your um, food or beverage, more or less to taste. So, if you were having an eight-ounce cup of coffee, you would only add approximately eight drops. We're only mixing a one-ounce bottle. So, I thought I would start with a half a mil, and we'll go from there. I took. Um, I've been doing some amaretta cherry, which is. Um, this one right here, which is, I've been vaping on and off for a little bit. And it's got five drops of sweet and sweetener in there. So what I did was I added one drop of green apple twist. And I'm going to tell you something. I could taste it. Not a lot, but it was just enough. If you've ever eaten green apple, um, it's almost like a sour, got a sour type of flavor to it. And I could taste that with one drop into my um, Kanger Subtank Plus, which holds um, 7 mil. So that was one drop in 7 mil. So I figure 5 mil ought to, ought to give it a nice, just a nice little zip, zip to, the, um, to the flavor. I'm hoping anyhow. But that is what... Um, what we're going to mix. And this is how I store it. And then I, I just come up here and I save it. I just save the file. And uh, anytime I want to, I can just go back on my computer and call it up. Or if I want, I can print the spreadsheet out. And as this fills up into one page, I'll print it out, punch some holes in it, and put it in a notebook. That way I'll have it in two spots, just in case the computer crashes, which, golly gee, that never happened before. <laughs> like my three terabyte hard drive that went up in smoke. But anyhow, and just this is just another way to, to keep track of your of your mix. So why don't we um start mixing this okay. liquid up? Let's get started here. So uh let's see what I said here. Let's call this thing up. And we're gonna start with four mils of cherry. Yeah we're gonna sh- got that nice and shook up that off of there. Now what I normally do, I normally take and um, let's get this arranged here. That's close enough. There we go. All right, what I normally do, let's rinse this out just to make sure it's clean. What I will do 
is I will take and I will go past four mil and then I'll scotch it back down till I have I don't know if you can see that on there four mil of juice and we'll add four mil Let's sit there for a minute while we put the cap back on. Always put the caps back on because otherwise you're going to end up spilling stuff all over the place. Take it from a klutz. And I'm a little sorry if the beginning of the video, the uh, audio was a little off. But um, got some new software and I'm still trying to get it to where it should be. All right, so we put in four mil of cherry. We're going to put in one and a half mil of amaretta. So you do the same thing. You take, you go past where you need to be. See, I got almost five mil in there. And then I'll take and I'll slowly scotch it down. And that's about two mil. There we go. Shoot that in there. See, this is the one thing that I like with um, with getting my all my stuff made from e liquid. Like I said, it's the first time I'm trying Capella, but all my stuff from E-Liquid uh, is pre-mixed, even my, um, you know, so I don't have to handle the nicotine. It's already pre-mixed for me. I can take the stuff that I get from uh, um, E-Liquid and I can vape it without adding any flavors to it. All right, so we want a half a mil of the green apple. And we do the same thing. We took it past. Now we're going to take and it's not going to be a whole lot right about there. You can see it's not a whole lot, just a little dribble. And like I say, you rinse it out after every use. And what do you got? You got to clean the syringe to use on the next one. Anybody that thinks that that doesn't work, <laughs> try it. Ooh, this might have a little bit of a kick to it. And this is, got it marked. I got it marked at 18%, but it's basically that's what it is. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to shake it up. You can see in here, let me tip this camera a little bit so you can see it better. There's not a whole lot of liquid in there. Ooh, it smells good though. Then we'll take this, because I know this is a one ounce bottle. Once I shake it up. And we take, we fill it to right about there. Now this is the reason you want to shake everything up. Let me uh, put the cap back on here. You can see how it's all separated. It's not really mixed up that well. I mean, some of it is, but when you shake it up, it's going to get cloudy. I mean, you can vape this right now. Or you can let it steep for a while. We're going to get into that too. We're going to get into uh, into steeping liquids. There's several different ways of steeping or aging. Now you can see it's it's cloudy. There's several ways of steeping liquids. You can steep them, let them age, do a whole bunch of stuff with it. All right, we'll get this out of the way. Put this over here. 
we have a relatively large label that's going to go on there. So we take, we put that there, and we get the tape. So we know, so I don't make the same mistake that I made before and put the whole thing together, forget to label the darn thing, and forget to write everything down. This one's going to take two pieces of tape, but that's okay. Put that on there. Doesn't take a whole lot. And yeah, we'll take one more piece of tape. I don't even go all the way around the bottle. And the other nice thing about this is the fact that you can always get the tape off. You just want to make sure you got the whole label covered. Which that did it. I mean, I'm not selling this to anybody. This is for my own personal use. But there you have it, right there. Cherry amaretto with a green apple twist. All made up. <clears throat> so, um, like I say, you shake it up. You can see the little air bubbles in there. This will eventually focus. I don't know why in the heck I do this on the autofocus. I can just take it off and focus it in this way. There we go. And you can see how it's starting to clear up. You can see all the little air bubbles in there. That's what you want. So I just made a 30 mil bottle of juice. Let's see what this stuff smells like. Ooh, that's got a nice smell to it. Can't smell the green apple, but I can smell the cherry and the amaretta. So if that green apple just gives me a little bit of a kick, we're going to be doing pretty well. But like I said, you know, one of the reasons that the, the audio was off at the beginning of this, I'm sorry, I don't know if it still is. Uh, I'll have to check it later and make some adjustments to it because I'm running new software uh, for the screen capture and, and that and uh, also for the editing of the, of the video. And um, I haven't got, got it quite set up yet. So anyhow, why don't we, uh, why don't we do this? Let's... Uh, Let's jump up top, do a little FaceTime, and vape on this puppy, huh? Okay. Um, while you were gone, you had to have been gone because I was still here. The I tried it out, and it was a little bit harsh. It was a little bit harsh. Uh, I don't know if that was from the blend. Or if it was from the fact that I haven't done 18 mil in a long time as far as nicotine goes. Either one <clears throat> doesn't much matter. But I added five drops of sweetener. And yes, I did update my YouTube or my uh, spreadsheet. <clears throat> and it seems to have come out pretty good. It's got a nice sweet apple taste to it. And uh, you can taste the cherry, the amaretta, and a hint, just a just a slight hint of apple and a slight hint of sweetener. Makes it for a very nice vape. And I'm running this at 25 watts. On a 0.5 coil from Kangertech, one of their factory made, at uh, 3.8 volts. And it's, could I vape this all day long? Sure. Will I make it again? I'll tweak it a little bit, add a little bit more apple, maybe a little, maybe take the nicotine level down. Because the nicotine seems to be... A little bit harsh, especially when you're used to doing six or three mil and you go right up to 18. It kind of gives you a little bit of a buzz. But other than that, <clears throat> it makes for a pretty good vape, pretty nice vape. Uh, we'll keep you apprised of what we do with this. And uh, 
as I come up with more recipes, so to speak, um, I'll be posting those too. So those of you who want to get into DIY, uh, you know, doing it yourself, hey, it, it's not that difficult. And like I said, the main thing is everybody talks about handling nicotine. I buy all my stuff pre-mixed, PG, VG, nicotine, all pre-mixed. I don't have to worry about it. I don't need the rubber gloves. The stuff that I get from uh, e-liquid, I can vape that exactly right out of the right out of the bucket. I can vape this, and this is eighty percent VG, twenty percent PG, eighteen milligram density on the nicotine. So as so as you can see, I don't have to do any calculating, any mixing. It's all mixed for me. I just shake it up, and by putting it in. These are nothing more than condiment bottles, not condom condiment. You can get them at the local Walmart, uh, Kmart, Sears, wh wherever you shop, grocery store. They're not that expensive. They're like I don't know, a buck, buck and a half. And you can see how much is in there. So I take it from the big container, shake it up, and I pour it in here. And then before I mix it, I shake it up. And after a while, you know exactly where you're going to go on one of these bottles. I normally take it right up to this point right here. After I've put all my all my um, flavors in there, I fill the rest up to right up right around somewhere in the curve. Um, sometimes towards the top, sometimes a little bit lower, and that makes for a good mix. So anyhow, that's it. Hey, this has been Ken for the Information Nation, and I'm bringing you more stuff. Hey. Subscribe if you would, give us a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and remember, in the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? <laughs> Have a great day.